Hello. Yes, sir, as you saw, uh, it's going to rain uh, heavily in the coming few minutes. So, as of now, uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, the virus is spreading uh, for the second time. And uh, we are under area lockdown, so uh, I can't go for any exploration other than staying inside home and doing something meaningful. So mainly what I am doing is, as you know, as all of you know, I am I'm engaged in uh, several uh, meaningful hobbies. So uh, as a person who loves the nature, I always come to my home garden and see the surroundings. And these days I often come because the migrant birds come to the home garden. So today's video is about uh, the common migrants who come to Sri Lanka and uh, what are the birds I saw in my home garden. So welcome all of you to the channel, I Bowen, and the RHSL Explorer is back with another new video, mainly about bird watching. So now let's go to further discussions. Okay, uh, so as you can hear and see, it's raining outside and uh, I had to uh, actually do the recordings inside. So if we go to more discussions about uh, migrant birds that can be seen in Sri Lanka, they generally come at the end of the year, mainly uh, since since mid, mid October, and uh, they live at uh, sorry they live in the month of uh, March. Uh, but there are birds who uh, comes early, uh, somewhere in uh, mid October, and some birds come too late. And also generally they live in the month of March, but some birds wait until uh, mid May. So, likewise, uh, there are many, I mean, hundreds of birds who come to Sri Lanka as migrants. But uh, in this video, I'd like to bring out the most famous 10 birds uh, who comes to my country as migrants. So, if I name these birds, they are the uh, Indian Pitta. In locally, it is known as Avichya. Then, uh, the blue tail bee eater. Uh, in local it is known as Nil Pedabiguharaya. Then uh, the brown flycatcher, uh, in single it is known as uh, Dumur Mesimara or Dumur Mesimarawa. Uh, then comes the barn solo, which is known as uh, Atuvahilinia in single, I mean local language. Then uh, uh, there's another bird called. Uh, uh, Indian Paras flycatcher, uh, Siruhora, and there's another one which has the same look called Silong fly, Silong uh, Paras flycatcher. Uh, uh, it is also known as uh, Siruhora, and uh, there's another one called Indian Paras flycatcher. Uh, those all birds look alike, but uh, they are known as uh, Siruhora in local language, which is brown in color and the white fellow of the same family is known as uh, Himalayan paradise flycatcher uh, it is uh, white in color and uh, the forest wagtail which is known as uh, water helpenda uh, what else what else there, there is there are another couple of birds and the brown shrike which is known as uh, borosabritta so these birds are very common in the migration season. Uh, among these birds, I have seen five to my naked eyes, but I had the very rare opportunities to film out them. So this time I film uh, two bird species, that is the brown flycatcher and the Indian paradise flycatcher. So at the end of the video, we'll have a look at those uh, birds in a video clip. So before that, I would like to bring out to you the images of these birds, so you can uh, have an idea about their physical appearance and you may have the knowledge to identify them if you see them in your home garden or in the surroundings. So uh, I want to add some more uh, interesting facts at this point about migratory birds. Uh, all in all, nearly 20% of the birds the world uh, do migration uh, that is around uh, 2000 species 
are migrating like this. So mainly they do this migration in search of food and search of breeding grounds. Well, uh, now it is time to have a look at the images of these common migratory species who come to Sri Lanka. Let's have a look at this. just stopped so I just came out to uh, film the rest of the video so I told you that uh, I have seen uh, several uh, migratory species uh, which comes regularly to my home garden so I have seen the forest wagtail before five years back and uh, the forest wagtail is known as one uh, helipenda in local language and the orange headed thrush which is known as Hisaran Tirasikia Hisaran Tirasikia Then I have seen the blue tail beaters They are very common right now even But it's difficult to get a clear image using this camera So I hope to bring some good footages in the future So that is uh, the blue tail beater which is known as Nilpe de Miguharia Then I, again I have seen the uh, brown flycatcher which I, which I have showed you in this video Then I have seen the Indian paradise flycatcher so those are the birds I have seen so far in my home garden as uh, migratory birds. So, but I had the opportunity to film only the Indian Paradise Flycatcher and the uh, Brown Flycatcher. So yeah, now it is time to uh, see the video footages I have recorded regarding these bird species whom I saw in my home garden. So now let's have a look at these uh, birds in action.
Well, uh, I think you got some idea and a lot of information about uh, who are the common migratory birds who come to Sri Lankan home gardens. So, I want to remind another uh, thing. That is, uh, I told that uh, there is a bird called Indian Paradise Flycatcher. Yes, this bird is known as uh, Asian Paradise Flycatcher as well. In local, it is known as Sudredihora. So, I have seen this bird also, but not in my home garden. Uh, little bit away in another friend's home garden. So, I have seen uh, a couple of or several uh, migratory species that come to Sri Lanka. So, it is time to wind up the video. Thank you so much if you did watch it from the beginning. Uh, I appreciate a lot. So, uh, hope I help you to identify uh, different uh, migratory species uh, who comes to your home garden and uh, I guess that th this video was very helpful uh, so thank you once again for watching and uh, stay tuned with the channel because uh, I'm going to bring more videos about the brown flycatcher uh, so uh, till we meet next bye bye and I bow to all of you